Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. The gold to silver ratio is really around 76 to 1. Let's explore. Yes, that's right. We are keep hearing about the all-time record for the gold to silver ratio being 125 or 120 to 1. And that is true, at least by the COMEX spot price uh, between the gold and silver. But in reality, does that really matter? What is the price you're actually paying right now uh, between gold and silver? And silver premiums are going up. Gold premiums are too. But according to silver doctors here, they have calculated on eBay that uh, the gold to silver ratio is 76. And by eBay, they also mean the free market. But their analysis, I guess, was uh, limited to eBay. And there is a uh, video that was posted about that. James Anderson uh, from Silver Doctors talked about this in a video that was shared with me by Chuck and Plata. And it is interesting, the silver ratio in futures and future-driven spot markets lately has exceeded you know, that 120 to 1. But on eBay, a major marketplace for both coin and bullion dealers and retail customers, the ratio is only 76 to 1 according to his calculations. And uh, it is a fascinating auction. I'll post a link to that video below. Now, I know there is one thing you have to take into account in that market, and that is the premiums that need to be paid not only to eBay, but also in acquisition of silver. And as you know, we interview Jonathan Swires from Monument Metals and talked about that very issue. And the premiums are up because the bullion dealers sourcing the metal have to pay a higher premiums to get it. And that is uh, something that is obviously going to be passed down to you, the consumer, the people who are buying. But in this day and age, uh, especially with Eagles, you're going to pay a very high premium because they are in demand and they're not, they're essentially not being produced right now or they're being produced, but they're not out in the marketplace. Uh, the men can't keep up with demand right now. And uh, so therefore the premiums are up. Uh, there's other silver to buy, but in this particular case, and uh, considering that the Eagles are the most sought after uh, coin out there, their um, uh, prices are going up. And so this is more analysis. I think this is interesting. Uh, it gives us some insight on how Silver Eagle prices have performed and a little bit of an, of a, of an educational thing here that was done last year um, by James Anderson. So this is uh, in a, quote, normal market, how the Silver Eagle coin price premiums are determined from 2008 to 2019 above silver spot. Uh, American Silver Eagle coins are U.S. government guaranteed one troy ounce silver bullion coins that are three nines fine. Actually, specifically, it's it's 0.9993 percent um, fine silver by the U.S. Mint. They have been doing this every year since 1986. And then we'll cover the detailed American silver eagle coin prices for before and after the 2008 financial crisis to today. So we'll establish the silver bullion products we're speaking about in detail there. And we won't go over the video here, but uh, silver bullion coins authorized by U.S. Congress in 85. It is the program's legislation requires the U.S. Secretary to sell the coins to the public they deem sufficient to meet demand at a price equal to market value of the bullion plus the cost of minting, marketing, and distributing such coins. And I believe that number is $2 per ounce. Uh, I think that's the magic number I've heard. Often the U.S. Mint has stoppages in production due to U.S. Mint shortages in silver planchets as well as natural spike and dive nature of the silver price and the silver bullion's public's demand. And we've heard about this. We heard about it last year and and in other times, I talked about, you know, there's a, the men has sold out of eagles. Does not mean there's a silver shortage. And James is being very careful with his language here so that you understand that this is the case. It's the shortages in silver planchets. And they get those planchets from several uh, different uh, um, refineries, like Sunshine Minting is a major producer of those planchets. 
So uh, before you can look at the recent Silver Eagle coin value chart history, below you can see that. And in the following Silver Eagle price charts, we use high volume silver bullion dealer premiums to illustrate and what price premium above the fluctuating silver spot price a U.S. Uh, American Silver Eagle coin have and are currently selling at. So here we see the Silver Eagle coin price chart and online silver dealer direct buying. Silver um, American Eagle premium over spot is in, um, is in blue and then the spot price. You can see it's relatively constant here between the two. But here, this is very interesting. In the fall of 2008, one ounce American Silver Eagle coins were selling at around $16 a piece, even as the, then silver spot price was near $9 an ounce. Keep in mind, that's about $7 above spot. Does that sound familiar? That's what we're seeing nowadays. We're seeing uh, Eagle sell for that much for the, some of the same reasons. But there's a lot more happening now than there was then. And it's somewhat a scarier situation now in some ways, but there's also hope in other ways. But that's sort of a topic from a different discussion. In fall of 2015, there was a sharp drop in silver spot price, which spiked demand, and the U.S. Mint had a stoppage of coins, um, or they were basically they were bottlenecked. So you can see during times of excessive silver bullion demand, that one ounce American silver silver eagle coin still the most popular. Silver bullion product by a large margin typically perform with an outsized price premiums above fluctuating spot silver's price. The fall of 2008, the fall of 2015 being the most prominent examples of this phenomenon. The following Silver Eagle price chart uses Silver Eagle uh, price conduits like eBay, on average more expensive than simply buying directly from bullion dealers. Plus, you have to add that 13% most of the time. Some of these power sellers can get by with a little less, but nonetheless, perhaps arguably safer given how many questionable bad actors and precious metals industry often has. And uh, Silver Eagle coin price chart eBay versus the middleman. So you can see spot silver and eBay uh, gold eagle price base average. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be Silver Eagle, but there's you can see the premiums that, that fluctuates there. Pretty greatly, due to a general higher middle man fees, which is the 13% we talked about. eBay's one ounce American Silver Eagle coin averages sales prices that are higher than buying direct from online silver bullion dealers. Currently, plus 10% higher on average. So the Eagle prices are determined. Uh, you must first fully understand how their foundation silver value is derived via the ongoing silver spot price, mostly dictated. And the COMEX future derivatives contracts, as well as constant U.S. mint price premiums charged over the fluctuating spot price plus silver bullion dealer premiums. American silver eagle coins are bought by an exclusive network of silver bullion um, dealers, and, and which are known as APs or authorized purchasers, and finally sold to the retail silver bullion buying public. They are to date far and away the most popular silver bullion product, in the silver bullion industry based off the annual capital flow and silver bullion sales data. I will add here that silver eagles are the most liquid and the most uh, sought after, and that's why you pay a premium um, for them. And you typically can, in many cases, dealers will buy them back to you at, at spot or a little above spot um, because they're so highly liquid. People feel that they're safer having silver eagles because other privately issued uh, bullion. Well, I'll just take for example the salivate metal round. If you have a, if you have till two silver eagles and a salivate metal round, most dealers are going to take the silver eagles over the salivate metal round any day of the week. That's an extreme example, but really that could be you could put the silver American eagle up against any privately issued, uh, even if it's a more recognized name. And they're more likely to take those because they're far more liquid. Silver bullion dealers place orders for silver eagle coins with a minimum 25,000 orders of the ounce one silver coins. Um, with purchases above the minimum 25k threshold allowed in 500 silver eagle coin increments. 500 coins makes a monster box. American silver eagle coins are packaged in semi-clear plastic U.S. mint tubes to 20, as most of us are know. And the one ounce silver coins in each a quantity of 25, 20 coin 
uh, holding mint tubes, equaling a total of 500 coins per case and place in a molded plastic shipping container that is green with the silver bullion industry as a silver eagle monster box. And here you can see it. We all are aware and have seen these. In fact, I think there's a monster box challenge going around YouTube now that I'm not participating in. Um, uh, but kind of wish I was, but another way, it's like, uh, you know, there's that, that's another story too. Before the 2008 financial crisis, the Mint sold one ounce American Silver Eagle coins to its exclusive silver bullion dealer network at the fluctuating silver spot price at $1.25 uh, per ounce. So beginning near spot prices for silver in 2003 were 474 Thus, the U.S. Mint was selling a minimum lots of 25,000 total one ounce American Silver Eagle coins at $5.99 per coin. On October 14, 2008, the price of the one ounce Silver Eagle coins for the authorized silver bullion dealer buyers was increased from the fluctuating silver spot price plus $125 an ounce to $1.40 per coin. That's his interesting history here. During the peak of the 2008 financial crisis, during uh, later fall 2008, silver prices in terms of spot had dipped just below $9 an ounce while almost non-existent supplies of American silver coins available were on average selling an 80% premium over the then silver spot price, about sixteen twenty per coin at the time. On February 9, 2009, the U.S. Mint again charged prices higher for bulk one-ounce American silver eagle coin orders, going from the fluctuating silver spot price plus $140 an ounce to $150 per coin. On October 1, 2010, the Mint increased for one final time to date, then Silver Eagle Coin bulk order price premium charged to the network of silver bullion dealers of the one ounce Silver Eagles going from Silver Spot 150 to $2 per coin. The typical reasons for the rampant increase in American Silver Eagle Coin premiums charged by the U.S. Mint were to meet the program's statutory requirements to operate at no net cost to the U.S. taxpayer. So there you go. It is essentially their production cost, the $2 per coin, so they don't have to charge the taxpayer in that. Anyone who has ever taken the time to actually read annual reports of the U.S. Mint would realize the Mint typically tries to bolster its bullion or collector coin profits in order to offset the losses it takes, producing debased circulating Cooper nickel coins we carry around in our pockets from day-to-day -day commerce. That's a very interesting aspect because, as you know, a cent, even now, I believe a cent, cost about two to three cents to make and a nickel is not far but a nickel i think is a i think more than five cents i'm not i'm not mistaken today it's impossible to get a brand newly issued 2019 american silver eagle coin for much less than the current silver spot price price plus about 229 per ounce selling in bulk u.s mint cases of 500 coins silver bullion dealers making a gross profit of a mere 29 cents per coin the high volume silver bullion industry works on razor thin profit margins. I do believe that. Even, even coming from a bullion dealer, um, I believe that is the case. I mean, you know that you know these a lot of this stuff is found in annual reports, and I, I um, have no reason not to believe um, James Anderson on this. Once one subtracts overhead costs for websites, brick and mortar stores. And the employee costs, it's hard to make much profit at the moment selling American silver local coins, even in high volumes. Uh, yet, the, re if the recent past is a prologue of the future, which is now, because this was written last year, well into last year. Any real crisis, a new monetary venture for our monetary authorities will likely be met with increased demand for U.S. American silver eagle coins. And we can see a day when the price of these most popular silver bullions sharply even outperforms the underlying silver spot price foundation. Boom. He nailed it. James Anderson nailed it here. Look at the date of this article. June 24th of last year. It was foreshadowing here. Interesting. Finally here, uh, this gives us an idea of what happened in the past. The reason why James Anderson can be so confident about that is this. American Silver Eagle Coin price premium chart here. And uh, silver performed following the 2008 crisis. And we can see the uh, price charts here. Um, and uh, in 2007, the European Central Bank dropped its mark. So we have the ideas what, what happened with the global financial crisis. And then what happened to silver. 
and what happened to it in 2008 and went down to almost $9. I'm going to look at that here and they put it down in a in a table down here. But then in 2011, the price has spiked up uh, to $50 an ounce. Could that happen again? Most, as most certainly could. It most certainly could, even as silver is being seen as a commodity. In fact, its move upwards could be as a commodity the other than as a hedge. So just because the prices have dipped and have been stagnant for a while because silver is being seen as an industrial metal, for the very same reasons it could go sky high and it could get up to $50 again or even more. So here, look at this price chart here. We can see what happened. The financial crisis, uh, I believe that uh, it was backdated and noted as a recession in December of 2009, uh, 2007, I mean. And look at silver prices, 1493. We're going to scroll down here. You can see all through January, each each uh, couple of days here, we can see the prices moving and fluctuating, moving up and down. These look prices look very familiar to us here now in this day and age, which is why many of us see silver is kind of stagnant. I mean, look at 2008, 1725, 17 dollars. We weren't, we weren't, we were at those prices not that long ago. And then people, this recession started being set in, and probably by March is probably when they came out and said we are definitely in recession. Look what happened: silver goes up twenty dollars an ounce. And then look what happened here: it starts to creep back down, sixteen dollars again, seventeen. And this is a time where YouTube, there wasn't the community there that uh, on YouTube that it was then. Or now, there's more of a community now than it was back then. People talking about this stuff. There weren't as many channels talking about this back then. Look at this. $16. Scrolling down a little faster now as we go through the mid part of the year. And then we're going to see it take a direction, another turn. $13 silver. $12 silver. High 12s, low 12. Lost 30 35 cents in one day from September 8th to September 9th. Then it goes down into the 10s in 2008. Look at that. 10s. And then 9s. By the October of 2008, it is down into the 9s and even $8. High $8. So there you have it. And so that is the record. We see that we could see this happen. We Silver could go down even more. Um, you know, just for inflation, silver's hurting big time right now on those charts. But eagles and stuff were, were selling for a pretty high price back then. We've been here before. It's just that silver's viewed in a little different way now. And we have the coronavirus and we have other things that are affecting uh, supply chains uh, that could really ex um, exponentially increase or decrease uh, in various different ways. I believe silver spot price could actually go lower, but the actual price and the ratio, the real ratio, the prices that we pay, the prices that bullion dealers are paying, and the prices that other institutions are paying for, for silver could go up, meaning that ratio could very well go into the 70s again and in, in, uh, based off of what the market is, is dictating. The marketplace is the true indicator of price. And we are seeing the price reflected by the marketplace. And that ratio is more or less around 76 or 70s into one by the measure of eagles on eBay. But more likely, you, you take that and you did analysis on, on junk silver, on, on um, um, generics, and aggregate all that information together. And you're probably talking, you know, 80, 85 or the ratios that we saw before. Still pretty high. Make no mistake, but uh, much better than 120 to one by far. And uh, so what is it when you go to sell? Well, as I said with an interview I did with Monument Metals, at least I don't know what their policy is now, but for American Eagles, they're, they're taking them at $4 over spot. My guess is if you call some places around, I know my LCS is paying higher than spot for generic. They're paying higher for spot, higher than spot for generic right now because there's such a demand for it. So there you have it. Some interesting thoughts here and uh, about the Silver Eagle program and about uh, the gold to silver ratio. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.